Welcome to another What's in the Box. My name is Jesse. This is iHeart Board Games. Today we are looking at Teotihuacan City of Gods by Daniel Teschini. Danielle? Daniel? I didn't do any research. Daniel. By NSKN Games Solo Mode by David Tursky. Turkzy. Sure. Let me know how I did on that in the comments. This is for one for one to four players, 90 to 120 minutes. This is a crazy looking game here. So um, I say we just jump in. Have you heard of NSKN Games? They've made uh, some other games. Let me know in the comments below if you know what they are. This is the part where I opened the plastic. You can see some of the plastic was already torn off. That was not by me. That was by uh, the person who provided, or the um, the company who provided. I don't want to give them bad press for having torn games. It was a miniature market. Okay, so yeah, the box came with some holes, but everything's fine. No, no damage, nothing to report. Um, this is iHeart Board Games. We do live things, including unboxings, and also we're on twitch.tv slash heartboard games where you can watch us play games like this one. So, let's take a look in the box. There's the inside. Let's put that like right here so you don't forget what it is. Um, ooh, here's a better way. No, it's not. I was wrong. There we go. Still in the shot. Okay. So off, off the top, we have bags here. Lots of bags. Lots of big wooden tiles there to build our little temple in the middle. We have dice. We're going to take a closer look at these in a second, but I'm just giving you a nice overview. We have extra bags. Quite a few. We have the rule book. So far, I don't see anything damaged, which is nice. Uh, I did an unboxing earlier with... Uh, with Treasure Island, and we had some damage in that. So, not outside damage, by the way. This is a 24 page rule book. So, you have your reading cut out for you as you make your way through this rule book. Board set up. Fortunately, there's lots of diagrams, lots of pictures. The text is large, I'd say probably a 12 point font. Um, okay, this gets a little wordy back here. It's going through, there's examples that stand out. Now we have variants here starting on page 17. In game is on page 16. So that gives you a good idea of um, how many rules you're looking at reading just to start with your game group. Uh, solo starts on page 18 and another variant there on uh, 18 as well and it goes into more solo stuff there and then we have uh, page 23 going into just a uh, little uh, hints and uh, things about the tiles themselves credits of course so that's the rule book there not bad not bad next up we have six of these uh, chits to pop out and we also have the board there is no insert I'm gonna take the board out a second we're gonna take a look at these first uh, we have some large things here yeah I don't know why you would want a closer look at that but there they are in the little cam oh I didn't look at the back of it do I well, that one's coming out Okay, well, good thing I looked at the back. That's pretty cool. Bunch of things there, too. This is 2A. The first one was 1A, yeah. More of the same there, same die cut. This is the same die cut here, too, 3A. You can pause it anytime you want if you want to take a closer look at those. This is... 4A, different die cut. And if you're wondering what a die cut is, it's the shape of the actual cuts on the board. A lot of companies will do the same die cut to save money. And there's no reason why they shouldn't. 
It's easier for the printing process and it's easier for the company to save money. So, um, yeah, this is 5A, I'm guessing. Yeah, 5A. And we have 6A. Now, check that out here. We have a promo for another game, Dice Settlers, which I do not have. But there's a promo for it. If you're interested in a promo for Dice Settlers, post in the comments below and I just may mail it to you. Um, make sure you are a follower on iHeartBoard Games on Twitch. Because I don't have Dice Settlers. What's the incentive for me? So there we go. Here's a closer look at that promo. I don't know what it is, but there you go. All right. That was the things. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a look at the board, and then we're going to take a look at this bag of stuff. So let's look at the board first. This is a six-fold, six-part uh, board. Let's say six-fold. I don't know what six-fold would mean. By the way, these dice, these are, uh, I left my little thing far away. These dice are straightforward, basic dice, different colors. Not much to report there. If you're familiar with board games, then you know uh, what that is. First up, this board is big. I was not expecting such a big board, given the space I allotted for this. All right, so we're going to take this in uh, layers here, I guess. Um, wow. This board is huge. Huge. By the way, the back of the board is just plain black. Nothing to report there. So, okay, everything's out of the way now. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, scroll this along. Um, <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like a, what's the name of that game? What does it remind you of? Post in the comments. I know this is a rondelle, so I'm going to, you're going to be going around, but these little sections, Yokohama's, that's, that's what I was thinking. Like the little sections that you do. That's pretty cool. So let's just scroll over slowly like that because this board is big. I'd say this is a like a poster size, you know, 36 by 72 or something really close to that. Yeah, we have the full 100 point board, which a lot of games lately have not been going the full 100. And it kind of bugs me when you have a 80 or a 50. 50 is okay, but 80, there's a game out there that has an 80 point score track. Let me know if you know what that is because why? 80. Anyways. So yeah, this is the board. Pretty cool. I like it. Full of information. A little thematic here and there, but most of the space is used for information. Let's take a look at these. Everything in here. I'm going to keep this busy background out here. Just because. And we're going to lift this camera up just in case we want to show off. Anything. So we have the tiles here. We have some little wooden bits here, uh, coincidentally placed by the logs. And I tried to fix this camera earlier and it said everything was fine. But now I'm getting glare like crazy. We're going to be working on things like this. But there's the wood. Pull out everything. Here's the silica gel. What do you do with your silica gel packs? Let me know. I keep mine in, um, there's a dice in our game room. I keep those in because every once in a while you need to, you need those for board games. If you want to dry out a board game for whatever reason, there you go. We have little houses. Not as little as a um, Monopoly piece, but they are little. We have cubes, not your standard small cubes, but medium cubes. We have the black pieces along with this big white piece. And a, and a look. Oh, wait, they're in two different things. So you have your small. And then you have your medium size. Then we have some gold bar looking things. If I had to guess what that was. I'm looking around the board. Yeah, there's some gold nugget icons here. I'd say that's your gold. It's in the bag. So we have black in color. We have blue in color. We have yellow and we have red in color. These are player colors, I would imagine. 
Another silica gel. Am I saying that right? Silica? I think. Let's look at the big tiles, the center piece of the board. So here we go. Wow. Let's take a look at this. Got one there. A lot of pieces here. A lot of them. Okay, so if you look at the sides, I think they all seem to have one common side. Yeah, and then the other side is more of the random stuff. Yeah, so it looks like one common side there. Just checking. Verifying these things. Okay. Yeah. Then the other side has four shapes on it. I imagine that is pretty significant to uh, tell you all about. I'm just running them through the close-up cam there. Almost like a assembly line just to show you what's in this game. You know, maybe you're reading the rule book and you just want to know. This is a handy way to learn you know, what's actually in here. In case you want to pause and look at something. It's all here. It's all available. Even though I covered up most of it, but I'm sure there was some point in the video where it wasn't uncovered. And yeah, more stuff there. Whole lot of stuff there. Oh, I like looking at a board game like this because right now as I'm looking at I'm like, I don't know what any of this means. I mean, I know the things I picked up from other board games that are points. I know gold's probably pretty good. And, you know, icons. I get those. But I don't know how they all work together. But that's the wonderful thing about board games is you read this rule set and you all agree this is how this is going to work. All this cardboard going together, this is how this works together. Everybody agrees to a certain rule set. And you're all playing the game. And that is all the tiles, and that is iHeartBoard Games unboxing. Come on back, hit that subscribe button, hit the follow button over at twitch.tv slash heartboardgames, and I'll see you next time.